Good evening there, Bourbon Quest. This is uh, Bourbon Steve here for you tonight. It's uh, Monday and got a busy week planned. So uh, this will probably be my last video until this weekend. I'm going to be out of town on a special trip uh, here in a few days. So uh, I don't want to spoil it. So we'll we'll check back and see uh, what kind of success we have. But uh, tonight. We're just going to do a simple head-to-head uh, -head matchup. Uh, I'm not going to do them blind, uh, but I've got your Blanton's single barrel there, which I'm familiar with. And then I've got this John J. Bowman single barrel, which I've never had before. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look at those, all right? So let's start off with Blanton's, obviously, Buffalo Trace. Uh, single barrel most people know this the story of Blanton's uh, beautiful body with a bottle with a horsey top there um, and then you've got the John J Bowman this is a single barrel copper steel pioneer spirit Virginia straight bourbon whiskey all right uh, again a single barrel uh, we're at a hundred proof and then of course your your Blanton's is at 93 proof now, the story is supposedly is that uh, this is basically Blanton's source from Buffalo Trace and then um, just, and then aged and everything in Virginia under the brand name John J. Bowman, which is owned by Sazerac, which is also own, owns Buffalo Trace, where Blanton's comes from. So, supposedly, this is somewhat hard to find. Not impossible to find, but comes a little harder and harder to find. This... You should be able to find on a regular basis. Let's see if it stacks up to Blanton's. Um, you've got one second. I'm gonna get my reading glasses on because these things aren't gonna do justice. Because I want to read the back of this bottle since it's new. All right, here we go. So, John J. Bowman, uh, early pioneer Colonel John J. Bowman first explored Kentucky in 1775. Four years later, he moved his family to Lincoln County where they were among the earliest settlers of Kentucky. He later presided over Kentucky's first county court and was appointed the first military commander and military governor of Kentucky County. He was the great great uncle of Abram Smith Bowman, founder of the A. Smith Bowman Distillery. The single barrel bourbon whiskey commemorates the early pioneers of John J. Bowman. Uh, Fredericksburg County, Fredericksburg, Virginia. All right, let's let's get into these. So we've got our Blantons here. Take a little pour of that. And then this is a, like I said, I've not had this before, so this will be uh, a fresh uncorking here. So bear with me while we do that. Got a little nice seal, perforated plastic. We'll just rip through that. And all right, let's go for an uncorking. Oh, nice little cork pop there. Take a little pour of some John J. Bone. All right, and like I said, uh, in previous videos, whenever we open a new bottle here at Bourbon Quest, we immediately take a, a nice uh, two ounce jigger, pour it into our infinity bottle here. All right, got that out of the way. Nice infinity bottle there. Like, I don't know, it's up to like 280 or something. Anyways, uh, let's bring the bottle back up here. There we go. All right, let's start off with the Blantons. And if you watched the last video, you know I was really dealing with some sinus issues and still am, but uh, a little bit better today. Been pounding some Benadryl and so forth, so feeling a little better. Let's see if my nose has come back any. Mm, yeah, I can breathe again. I can smell those flavors. Caramel, cherry, oak. It's 
some toffee, plenty of vanilla. All right, it smells delicious. All right, let's go in for a taste. Hmm. I get that uh, cherry caramel. Getting to, getting quite a bit of spice from this one. Um, nice cherry, uh, vanilla, caramel. A little bit of that, that uh, barrel oak. Mm, what is that? Some black, maybe some black cherry there too. Mm. All right, let's go in for the taste on that. I mean, vanilla, cherry, cream brulee, just really explodes there on the mid palate. I mean, definitely crushable, only 93 proof. Actually, I don't know. I mean, like you said, every day is different depending on what you eat and your experience for the day coming off the sinus, maybe the Benadryl that I've had today. But um, for some reason, this is drinking a little bit hotter than the normal 93 proof taste drinking more like a hundred proofer which will be interesting since the john j bowman is a hundred proof if how that compares all right one last sip mm. yeah just vanilla cream brulee um yeah black cherry very nice and still tasted, drinking a little bit harder than when I've experienced that before. And it might just be with me dealing with the sinuses or whatever, but let's have a little water. Always oh, important to stay hydrated there. All right, so as I mentioned, I think this is, makes this, I'm on my third bottle of Blanton's uh, since I started my Bourbon Quest uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, this will be my very first experience with John J. Bowman. So let's see what old Mr. Bowman has to offer. Very similar nose. Yeah, cherry, caramel, vanilla. A little bit of oak, not as much as on the blends, it doesn't seem like. I don't know the age on these, so maybe that has a little something to do with it. Might be a little bit younger whiskey, I'm not sure. But um, sweet caramel, vanilla, black cherry. Yeah, these are very, very similar on the nose. Let's go in for a taste, Mr. Bowman. See if you're ready to take down the kernel. Mmm. That is, that is sweet, chocolate, vanilla, caramel. That's pretty damn good. And, and I'll have to do these another time blind or whatever because, you know, I, I love blends, but part of me wants this to be as good or better because you can readily get this and this is, becomes harder and harder to get it seems like i mean no doubt on the bottle game blanton's hands down winner although i will say you know the john j bowman has this nice kind of horseshoe bottle i mean i just i mean it's hard to compete against the the bland especially when it's dressed up in this sexy fishnet pantyhose you know what i mean all right i'm gonna take a glass of water i'm gonna go back into this bowman Yeah, sweet, chocolate, black cherry, vanilla, oak. All right, let's go in for the go in for the taste here. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, has a good long finish um not not burned but just enough to give you a good uh mouthfeel a little bit of that well i guess virginia hug in this case 
Virginia is made for lovers after all. That's that's mighty damn good. And you know, and as I mentioned, both of these are single barrel offerings. So um I think I even mentioned the last time I had this particular bottle of Blanton's, it was not did not quite live up to the other two bottles that I've previously had. And I think that might be that the Rick House or the floor level on the other two I had before were low level. This is a higher level one. Um not sure about the John J. Bowman, but um you know I could have a really good one, or this might be what it typically is, but uh, this is, you know, you're always going to get some variances here with your single barrel offerings, but um, I know, obviously, I, you know, for a year and a half, I've seen this bottle and passed on it, because it wasn't from Kentucky, it wasn't from Buffalo Trace, hell, it wasn't even from Tennessee, which is my home state, so maybe you get a little biased there, but... Um, but it was for Virginia, so I, I'd passed on it several times, and um, as I became more and more educated, realizing that supposedly this is sourced from Buffalo Trace and basically the same things at Blanton's at a higher proof, this is, you know, nowadays anywhere from 70 to $80 at MSRP, and a lot of times more expensive than that. I picked this bottle up uh, at my local Total Wine, um, last two or three days ago $49 so yeah you gotta take that into account too not one basically about $30 cheaper and higher proof although I will say this one tasted they they tasted me about the same proof but this was 93 this is 100 but you can find this $30 cheaper and it's really really good I mean it's not I mean, neither is Blanton's. It's not crazily complex or, you know, just, you know, wow factor, but a damn good bourbon on a, you know, on a Monday night. What the hell? And we'll be drinking more whiskey on Monday nights here before long anyways with Monday night football starting up, right? And you got to have a good bourbon with football. You know, it's Americana, which is what bourbon is. Because to be bourbon, it's got to be made in, in America. Not in Canada, not in Mexico, not in Scotland, not in Australia, in America. Not necessarily Kentucky. It can be made in Hawaii, Texas, Alaska, um, you know, Maine, wherever. Tennessee. Um, but this is uh, from Virginia. Sourced supposedly from Kentucky. And then aged there in Virginia, which I mean, they're neighbors, so what they all. I mean, and so is Tennessee. We all need to get along as neighbors: Kentuckians, Tennesseans, Virginians, Georgians. Actually, just all of America. Can we come together? I don't want to get on any political rant, but it seems that yeah, during my lifetime, that we've become divided as a country, and I'm hoping that yeah, this bourbon boom could maybe bring us back together on some common ground that we can agree on some things our love for baseball America pie bourbon blue skies and puppy dogs I mean surely we can all agree on that right all right that's my little political rant all right let's compare these one more time Let's just go right to it. I can't tell the difference. If I was doing these blind, I don't know if I could pick out which was Blaine's and which was John J. Bowman. So, later down the road, I mean, I was just doing a quick video today. I'll do these again sometime blind and and not necessarily try and pick them out to see which is better blind and uh, but they're both great bourbons and maybe the same bourbon you know just with a little nuance of being Asian Virginia but I mean without the bottles being in front of me I cannot tell you the difference but 
hey you know we're we're not even a month old in this channel so for all of you that have subscribed my deepest thanks to you uh, please tell your your friends your Facebook friends your enemies whatever to check out bourbon quest um, we've got some exciting things coming up over the next month or two uh, we'll continue I will continue to try and improve the the content the quality um, the one thing I do apologize for is based upon my work schedule and time frame I just don't have time to uh, put the editing into it right now but I'm going to try and work on that and um, yeah if you saw my first two or three videos compared to now I think you would see that there's some big improvements and we hope uh, or I hope that we can continue to improve as we grow and thank you again for all of you that joined um, like I said um, by hitting that subscribe button smashing that like button it really helps me out a lot it helps me grow the channel and um, you know we'll see where it goes obviously I started this this bourbon quest for my own personal um, what am I trying to say just my own personal quest and journey and because I love it and have grown to love it and want to be able to share that with you and um, if it becomes anything bigger than a hobby great if not that's what it started out to be anyway so no love lost there but glad y'all uh joined in tonight and check out the video tell me give me your comments give me your thoughts what do you think about blends what do you think about uh john j bowman do you agree that they're very similar or, or am i just crazy but anyways um i don't want to ramble on any longer um we'll be back in touch um you know before the week's out. How about that? Good night, Bird Request. May you find everything that you're questing for. Cheers.